Thanks for tuning back in where we talk about all the celeb drama with the splash of LA news. Let's get started. I just found out over the weekend that Taylor Swift is getting sued for $42 million. It's from somebody named Jesse Graham and he says that she used his lyric, haters gonna hate in her shake it off song. Graham's not gonna get a dime. He should, you know, thank his lucky stars that he even has the publicity that he does right now. Pack up your bags and never be seen again because this is the extent and height of your career. Overall, I really like Graham's song. I mean, I know he's not gonna get a dime, but maybe with all this publicity, people will start listening to it. It sounds like an awesome jam that you'd play at the Backyard Reunion. So, Leah Remini's book is coming out tomorrow and it's all about her leaving the Church of Scientology. Her book entitled Troublemaker, Surviving Hollywood and Scientology is all about the juicy gossip on the Scientology Church and especially their number one member, Tom Cruise. Living in LA, Scientology is a big part of the community and the fact that Leah has left the church and she's coming out with a book you know, she's a big celebrity. I'm curious to see what Scientology has to say after the book comes out. I really want to know what's going to happen with this, and I'm excited. I know that I'll be buying her book. Miss Khloe Kardashian is back in the spotlight after all that drama with Lamar Odom, and she's coming out with a new book entitled Strong Looks Better Naked. I'm really interested in Khloe's new book for the fact that she talks about her weight struggles, her self-image issues, and her relationship problems. But I really like that she's talking about her weight issues. Now she's coming to own her own body. She was in that amazing Adidas One Piece for that magazine shoot and she looked amazing. And from what I read, she never wanted to do it. She didn't want to be half naked on the cover, but she did. And she looks great and she's a thick curvy girl and I think she's starting to own it. And for young followers of hers, I think it'll be a great opportunity for them to see that they can love themselves too. So I'm really proud of Chloe. I really think this is going to be an amazing book. And for all you guys and girls out there, the cover folds out into a full-size poster. So you can have Chloe in your room. For your LA news this week, I want to talk about a new restaurant that opened up last week in Silver Lake. It's French Mexican. Wait. What? French Mexican? Yeah, French Mexican. You heard me right. And one of their menu items is churro French toast. OMG. Trois Familia is the venture from the three chefs who also opened Trois Mec and Petit Trois. Trois Familia serves brunch and lunch from 10 to 3, 7 days a week. And don't forget to try their double-decker potato tacos. Can't wait to see you Friday, YouTube, and be sure to subscribe.